So out here where I parked my truck, there happened to be this old dump truck just sitting here. And it sat here for a couple years, I've been watching it. And I looked at it one day and I thought it was in pretty decent shape for a truck that's been sitting. And I decided to buy it. I don't really know a whole lot what my plans are. I think it's too small to make much money with. But I want to get it running. I want to uh, fix it up some, make it a nice truck again. Uh, I have a, a small front loader that uh, would pair up nice with this. But going into it, it's a 76 Dodge D600. There's no rust on this truck. This truck is almost completely rust free. The worst part of this truck is the sun has baked the interior. This is just how I bought it. I haven't done anything to it yet. So like this is all powdery. Dash is cracked up top. But most of all, it's just dusty and dirty from sitting. Um, but you can see, like, there's like no rust anywhere in this truck. Somebody cared for this truck at one time. Uh, the bed had some dents and stuff in it. This here, I'll probably straighten out or try to replace. Uh, so, tailgate up top has some denting and stuff. That's a good solid bumper on the back. And pretty good down this side. The running board's a little bit bent and the fender's pushed a little bit. But, as you can see, overall it's good shape. It's got a four speed with a two speed rear end. And, just a neat old truck. Needs a bumper for sure. Here's under the hood of the old girl. It's got a 360 Dodge motor in it. Two barrel carb. Uh, original color was this gold color. Um, don't see any major leaks. Looks pretty clean. As far as I can tell, this truck's been sitting unused, unregistered since 2012. Well, let's start looking at some of the things that this uh, old Dodge needs to get going again. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I got my notebook. I like to make a list when I get a project like this. And I am going to check the oil. Yeah. There is oil in it. Uh, the oil is a little bit low. Doesn't look too bad. I think it's been changed not too long before it was parked, um, which is a good thing. Uh, it keeps the acid uh, from eating bearings and stuff like that. I will dump the oil before I get it running, just to get all that old oil out of there. And then uh, the next oil change, I'll run a short uh, amount of time on. So then I'm gonna look in the coolant. Looks like a new radiator cap. It is pretty dry in there. So, either somebody drained this or it slowly leaked out over time. Um, I did notice that the cap over here for uh, the overflow is gone, but there is fluid in the bottom of it. Uh, so, that's a good sign power steering fluid down here. Let's take a look down here. Grab you guys. Get up here. Uh, it looks empty. 
which it looks like the power steering has been leaking for some time now. So that doesn't surprise me too much that it's empty. So I'm gonna write some stuff down on my list. So what we need is we need some oil. I'll have to look up how much of this motor takes. We need some coolant. I'll probably run water first, get it flowing through the system, maybe some flush in it. Uh, and then I'll put coolant, flush it out, and then put coolant in it, try to get some of the rust and stuff out that would be in it. And then we need a uh, power steering fluid. fluid. And then uh, the next thing that we need to do is I know the gas, I already looked in the gas tank and it is for sure got some rancid gas in it. So when I start this thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a filter, some soft hose, and an electric pump, and I'm going to feed it fuel that way out of a gas can uh, to get it started. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the carb isn't too bad. At first, I'm gonna try uh, just using some spray carbon choke cleaner. See if it'll clean up enough with that to get it going. If not, uh, I'll get a rebuild kit and rebuild it. Um, if I decide to keep this motor, I will probably add a little bit of power because I want to be able to tow my little front loader which weighs about 10,000 pounds. So I'd probably put a four barrel carb on it and an intake and uh, maybe some exhaust work. Just to give it a little bit more torque, a little bit more power. Uh, I'm not looking to make it fast, just uh, some low RPM power. And if I decide to keep this for the long term, I'd throw an RV camp in it. Uh, it might already have that in it, being that it was in a dump truck. So that's something I'd have to look up and see. Let's open this up. Maybe. It's pretty rusted on there. <clears throat> Dang it. Well, that's not going to work. Unfortunately, It was corroded to the point where then I couldn't get the cap off. Broke the bolt off the top of it. It does look dry in there, but uh, at this point I'm going to need a master cylinder. So I put some water in the radiator and I also uh, filled up the power steering. Uh, I'm working on disconnecting the fuel lines now and I'm going to bottle feed it. And I put a, temporarily put a battery up there. Uh, I'm going to see if I could get it to kick off. I'll be working right in that area. So let's see, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to feed it directly into this line. Let's see what we get here. All right, let's see what we get here. Yeah. Crank it over. Wow, that was fast. Let's use a little cheater. It'll break clean. I don't think it's got any fuel to the bowl yet. I just have a uh, little iced tea bottle feeding it. Let's see if I could. Maybe get this feeding a little better. Not 
Okay. Let's see if they got any wait, no fuel yet. <laughs> See if I could squeeze some. Squeeze this as I kick it over. try something. I'm going to poke a little hole in the bottom of this bottle so that air flow. I think it's locking itself up. <laughs> 